Okay, we're back. Okay. And Louis was yawning. I was yawning. Ahmed just said they would yawn and I just yawned. <laughs> okay, okay, so now, what do we have here? Why we're back here today? Yeah, welcome back again to Elegant Cars, like the only place we live. Uh, exactly. We might as well move in actually. Yeah, I think so. And today we've got a review of a car that could be added to the Just Drive garage. Soon. Very soon. 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 A Waftmobile? The, a Waftmobile. Yeah. A Louis Waftmobile, as it's sizing. It's the Range Rover Vogue. HSE. What does HSA stand for? <coughs> High spec? No. High standard edition. Okay. I tried to memorize that about 15 hours ago. High standard edition, high standard edition, high standard edition. And now you said I just saw it. <laughs> no. High standard edition, which means it comes with a series of options, which include the, um, the better version of climate control, which is uh, three layers, the comfort seats, the Meridian sound system, Parking sensors, reversing camera, and a whole slurry of other bits and bobs. So walk us around the corner. Okay, so Let's we'll see. start here at the front. Now, all Range Rovers have got this neat little uh, party trick. Which is? Uh, which isn't much of a party trick, but it's for people like me so who are useless and odd. On the key, we've got the key here. So that's the key. It's a lovely key. This is a uh, shade of, uh, this is for uh, the naked okay. hands. Each other, that's for you. And I have parked my car and lost it. Oh no! I know, right? Where is but the what car? What can I do? This key gives you the honest solution, right? So you walk around the car park, mm -hmm. tap this button, the lights come on. And they stay on? And they stay on. So you can find it? Yeah. And your car's going to be the one that's glowing the whole place up. Because these are Range Rover LED lights. Now these are the first generation of them. Obviously when they refresh in that, because this is a 2015 car. Mm -hmm. It's got a 5 litre V8 creating about right, 370 brake horsepower and I'd say 510 newton meters of torque. I'd say because I read it. Uh, <laughs> now this car is finished in this beautiful shade of red, but I would like to point out that the black around the car, pointed out here, here and here, yeah. is a wrap. Okay. Because I believe that the uh, to get it done, I think it's a 700 dinar option. Like a black pack sort a of A black thing. pack is about 700 dinar or 1400 dinar, I'm not too sure. Okay. But I think the guy paid like 40 dinar to wrap it and it's as good. So, looking into the engine, which I'm sure you've got it now, it's not the most glamorous, but it does the job. It's a Range Rover. Exactly. It's meant for everyday wafting. It's not the Ferrari, mm -hmm. okay? So moving along the sides, the Vogue comes with a wheels, however these are the 21 inch wheels that have been diamond cut and they've been given this smoked chrome look where you can see where the chrome is yeah. with the dual tone and I think that's a really good looking accent. Now the side blades here, now this was, this has been de-chromed to black. So if you were to head around the other side, we're going to dive on into the interior. We're going to dive into the interior. Dive on in, dive on to the interior. And I'll walk you through what it's like. So as you open the door, you get little side plates that come out and give you a little, little lift into the car, especially when you're only five foot and a fart. But I'm not five foot and a fart. I am a very large. So I don't need it. However, it is rather handy and it is rather strong. And it will take a lot of weight. I would know. So moving on into the interior of the car, lovely car, 2015 model, so this is different from the newly released ones with the dual screens. However, this uh, main screen with the rev counter still looks high definition, still looks amazing. Now the thing is I'd like to point out about this car, it is for sale at Elegant Motors, and it's for the low price of 22,000 dinar. And you might have to fight me for that honor. Get ready to rumble. Yeah, get ready to rumble. And, uh, so I'll we have a lot of spec in this car. Yes, like it's we a very high spec. The it panoramic sunroof. Yes, it is the HSE model, the high standard equipment model. And that's another one of the options I believe that comes with it. Moving on inside the car, which 
I can now do. Why did it go in like that? How awkward I am I? I um, it's obviously very spacious, very roomy in here. Now, the Range Rover is known for its elegance, its comfort. It's, it's a daily car. This car has got, what, 370 horsepower, but weighs probably about three and a half tons. It's not about how quickly you can get there. It's about how comfortably you can arrive. When in Range Rover, you don't get there, you arrive. Exactly. You arrive in a fashion. You've got this lovely interior and everything feels well made. That's wood. You've got, oh, yeah. yeah, it's wood here, it's wood here, and it feels, you get all the quality and feels, everything feels expensive. Now, don't get me wrong, this car started to become a little bit dated, especially once you look at the new 2017 edition, but it all works spectacularly well when it wants to. So now if I press the start button and I can get the um, entertainment screen up. Now there is an option where you can get full entertainment screens, you can get them in the back, you can get extended versions, but the HSE version comes with a Meridian sound system and it is a very good sound system. Okay, so now I have the infotainment. Yep, the connectability of the infotainment is very good because it's the whole... Um, just going to close the Someone's door for the bombs. No, it's a guy in the background mate. Because I've put the volume on zero before we started, just to let you know. <laughs> um, I've just closed the door to stop the bonging. Whilst I slowly roast, because it's so hot. But the car's finished in a dual tone leather. We've obviously got a dark top and a lower is more of a sandy Lighter. colour, beige sandy yeah. colour. Now these are tend to be done here in the Middle East because obviously with black leathers and dark leathers it's going to get very hot. Uh, so these are done to generally so cool down the car. Like yes, Austria, for example. So it's all so in a Range Rover. It's all very fancy and very limited work needs to be done. It's all touch sensitive in that way. It's all neatly hidden. There's not too many buttons. You're not. You, you're, it's not sensory sort of. You know, there's too much going on for you to understand. It's all very basic. Your gran can operate this car. So what's under the armrest? So under the armrest is, if I can open it, you've got a fridge. Fridge? Yeah, it's a fridge, mate. Are you serious? Yeah, it's a fridge. Oh. It's a Range Rover, Ahmed. I want a cold drink. I didn't know that. I mean, it's strange about the whole armrest thing. The thing. I'll just turn it back off because it's not currently being used. And you've also got your AUX port and your USB port. Now, on a daily car like this, these are important. We don't tend to usually show them anymore for the Ferraris and the yeah. SLSs and things like that. But on a car that's a daily car like this, it's necessary. You need it. Now, this car you know, is no way about how fast it goes to zero to 60. But it does still it have bad six, for it. It does, but this car does still go to zero to 100 kilometers in 6.5 seconds. Now that sounds slow, but don't forget you arrive at, at 100 at kilometers an hour. Exactly. Comfortably. And it's not about pulling or dragging you because obviously there are engines for that. There's the supercharged V8 that has 510 brake horsepower. And the SVR. And the SVR. So these cars are, you know, well equipped, they're comfortable, and there's plenty of room in the back behind me for a thin person. Let's verify that, shall we? Plenty of room. So, uh, verification of Louis' claim. Okie dokie. So. Yeah. You can fit one Ahmed behind me. Yeah. And to be honest, I could be less selfish and move my seat I can forward, fit. But Actually, it's I don't not want bad. To. I mean, I can't fit. Now, because of the uh, HSE pack, you can look around and you'll see a lot more vents for the AC. Yeah. So underneath the seats here, there's some vents for your feet. On the side there by the door, there's vents for your shoulders. And the AC in this car is a very, very good. And that's a very important option here in Bahrain. Now the sunroof, this whole panoramic roof is a lovely option. Uh, it's obviously tinted, which is very much needed here. Very important. Very, very important. But I tell you what, let's head round to the boot, okay? As soon as I get as on, soon as you manage to get awkwardly on. from the car. Okay. So now we're in the boot. Yes. Oh, we're not in the boot. We're at the back. We're at the back. Looking at the boot. So there's a m multiple ways in order to open this boot. You can do it through the key. It's very autonomous. This car it can do a lot for you in terms. It's all about creature comfort. Yeah. Um, and this really is the SUV of S classes. And I think that. The price oh, the S-Class of SUVs. SUVs of S-Class. What? Yeah, S-Class. The S-Class of SUVs. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah. I wouldn't believe that this is Moving actually on. the first language. But I'm sure Ahmed's overlaid how it can otherwise work, but I'm going to open it by hand now. Because I think that the way that this can open in two parts is actually quite interesting. Um, 
There we go. <laughs> How do I Awkwardly. Yeah. Anyhow, anyway, there's a partition. It does move back, it folds back, it doesn't pull back. Yeah. Which is something I've just learned. But it's honestly a bit of a shoot, so you can literally throw your items into the boot here. However, when they've obviously got higher and heavier loads, let this go down, it'll drop down automatically because, you know, I'm too good to move it myself. And it's a smooth lip that you can slide items into nicely. It has been shown that it can be used as a seat, however, we're not going to do it with this one. Yes. So, there's a I don't want purpose to worry. for that. Yeah. You can sit in the seats. Yes, no, you can. Just like the Cullinan did, but the Cullinans tried to make more of a thing of it by yes. putting little seats in. But this and a table. was, and a this small was table. the daddy. Yeah. To put it back, there's no need of this hand nonsense and using my muscles. Hands is just for normal yeah, people. It's for the poor. Uh, but well, you can do it also from the, uh, from the key fob. Yes, you could do it completely by the key fob, but that was just to demonstrate that sometimes if I want to feel, you know, like I'm giving back to this world, I'll just <laughs> do that. So, talking about style though at the back yes. of this car, it's the dual tone, it's got the black roof, it's got the red paint, which it looks amazing on Range Rovers. I find that it shortens the car a bit, makes it look a bit more squat. A bit Isn't more it medium. lower from the suspension itself, from the air suspension? Yes, it's been lowered because I've just opened the boot. Yeah. You're going to notice after a while, or as soon as we start the car up, the car would raise. Yeah. Now it's got different terrain modes, this car, which has been covered a thousand times. You've obviously got your off-roading, which Range Rovers are so known to do so well. But this sort of walk around isn't about that. There will be one day coming a review about it where we will take this car off-road. Yes. Not this specific car off-road. Maybe this specific car off-road. Um, I guess stay that's... tuned to find out about that. Yeah. This so. has been, I'd like to say a big thank you again to Elegant Cars, as always, for hosting us with such amazing hospitality and giving us the opportunity to look around these review cars. These cars. Yep, quick walk around and see what we can get out of it. But um, that's a bit I think of a problem now because we've, we've almost bought the entire stock. <laughs> anyway, so I think that's it. That's for it for this review. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and yep. turn on the notification bell and all of these all things. All of the things. That and you know. I guess, guys, until next time, just drive.